The McLaren Senna has been designed, engineered and developed with one single purpose in mind, to be the ultimate track car. There's a number of things you can change on the McLaren Senna when getting to a racetrack. Race mode on the Senna uh, lowers the car. You can use that to really get the car very low on ride height and get as close to a race car as you possibly could get. We've moved the hardware on from the P1 now, so the initial ride height can be a little bit higher, which enables the car to have the best of both worlds. Those slower, bumpier corners, you can have a car that is still very, very responsive. Increased speeds, the compression from the downforce stiffens the springs on the car, so you're very low on the deck, so you get zero roll on the car at those higher speeds. It helps massively with stability going into quick turns on the track. As well as that, we have a full active aero on the front and rear of the car, designed to keep the optimal aerodynamic balance throughout a lap. For example, when the car is heavily in pitch in a heavy braking zone, we can bleed off the flaps at the front of the car to decrease the amount of front downforce enables you to get a nice balanced car at the crucial point into the apex. It's a big task for us to calibrate for all the different circuits, but we're trying to get this car through as many circuits as we possibly can in development, more so than we ever have done before. Not only our proving ground, but also more of a Formula One circuit feel as well. The feel and response when you're into a heavy braking zone is really fantastic, which is crucially important for track driving to shorten those braking zones down. It's a fantastic raw experience on track with this car. There really is nothing that separates it from a race car uh, when you're out there on circuit. In race mode, just you and the dynamics of a very, very stiff, very, very fast car.